Hey guys, Wayback Rewind here. Today we're going to look at transfer of camcorder video to computer digital video. This is part two of a multi-part series. Today's method I'm going to look at is specific to the Sony Digital 8 camcorder, the TRV 460, also the 480. If you have analog 8mm video that you shot, this is the gold standard way to do it. The TRV 460 will convert this file on the fly to a digital video and you can import this directly into the computer. <music> If you have analog 8mm video that you shot, this is the gold standard way to do it. The TRV 460 will convert this file on the fly to a digital video and you can import this directly into the computer. Now I say that with a few caveats. The TRV 460 uses IEEE 1394 connection. It's no longer found on modern computers. In fact, I had to go back a couple of computers to be able to have this interface. Today I'm going to be using a Dell Latitude D830 computer. This computer dates back to 2007. This was a business computer. We used these at NASA back in the early 2010s. When NASA no longer needed these computers, they sold them to the general public. They sold them to us. I've had this computer since early 2010s, but you can still buy them on Amazon and eBay for about $100. This computer originally ran on Windows XP and had a very small rotary hard drive. Upgraded, it's running Windows 10 Pro now and it has a solid state hard drive. It's super reliable. It's built like a tank, but most importantly, this computer has what no modern computer has and that's a whole lot of different ports, including the 1394 port. But the camcorders of this era we're able to interface with these computers directly. It has the four pin firewire. Which I use this portable one. This is the four pin firewire. I'll put a link in the description for the type of cable that you need. Any four pin, four pin to four pin IEEE 1394 cable will work. The connector is keyed, so it can only go in one way. So here we are on the front of the TRV 460. You can see the keyed 1394 connector. We'll plug it in like that. Once I connect the camera to the computer, I'm using a program called AVS Video Recorder. I'm sure there's a lot of different programs that'll do this. One of the nice things about the DV format is that even though it only has four pins, it automatically will transfer audio and video and you can even control the machine from this interface. Software is going to ask you how you want to capture it. For DV, I would always capture it in the native format, which is going to be the highest quality. If you wanted to sample it at a lower rate for some reason, you could do that. But I would always recommend you to capture it in the native format. I'm going to put my tape from 1992 into the camera. Now the camera is connected to the computer, the software is up and running, ready to capture. I can come down here and press play and it will automatically command the camera to start playing. And then I can come over here and hit start capture. And it's capturing. Even though this is an old computer, this really is not taxing it at all. It's showing CPU usage at about 30%. The video file size by today's standards are relatively small. It's grabbed about 100 meg so far. And this is the landing of STS-47 Endeavor. I press stop capture. And I'm gonna stop the tape. And immediately I have the, the data for my file. I could have given it a better name, but it's just called Capture File 001. That was about 200 megabytes, one minute and three seconds long. From here, now it's a digital file. I can do whatever I want to do with it. I can edit it, convert it, trim it, play it. I'm just going to play it, make sure that everything worked properly.
And now we've got the video in the computer. Fully digital file from an analog tape that I made in 1992. My next example, this, is, this looks a little tricky, but it's actually a, a thing of beauty and you're gonna love it. Let's say I have another camera that's putting out some kind of analog video that I don't really have a way to capture digitally. This camera actually does record digitally, but for the purpose of the example, I'm going to use the analog output. In terms of the cables, I'm just using the audio video cables that came with each camera. For the source camera, the AV cable plugs in here just like that. The source camera cable has a left-right audio, a composite video, and an S video. The S video will have a slightly higher quality, so we'll use that instead of the yellow. The cable on the 460 also has the left, right, and video. Since I'm not using the video, I don't have to worry about the yellow. But you notice these are both males. So to mate it to the other males, I need to use these couplers. And then I'll just mate white to white and red to red for the audio. So I've still got the 1394 plugged into the computer. But I'm going to plug in this analog plug coming from my other camera. For the S-Video, I'll have to plug this into the camera directly. The 460 has an S-Video port on the front, and it just mates up like that. It's a little bit of a mess here with all these cables dangling off of it, but that's what we have. Now everything's connected. The plain camcorder, the analog cable coming out, the S-Video goes into the front, the left and right video connect through these couplers, they feed into the 460. The 460 is going to convert that into digital in real time and pass it through the Firewire IEEE 1394 into the computer. So you can see right now the screen that I have paused on the playing camcorder is showing up live in real time on the computer. And this is sitting here with no tape in it. I don't have to record. This machine doesn't even have to function. The mechanical bits in this camera don't even have to function properly for this real-time transfer to take place. That is the beauty of the 460. I can start the capture and then hit play. And there you have it. I don't know if there's any 1394 adapters for modern computers, but I have not been able to find one. They have them for desktop computers, but I have not found one for laptops. If you know of any, put it in the comments. I'd like to find one. But for now, I use my 15-year-old Dell here, and it does a great job of capturing. It runs Windows 10 Pro, no problem. And so that's what I'm going to keep using. So just like that, I took the video from the, the IP7, ran into the TRV460, which is sitting here completely motionless. It's just doing a pass through of that analog video, converting it to a digital signal, sending it to the 1394 into the computer. And it sounds complicated, but with one button, I can digitize any analog signal from any camera, any player, any video source. I can run it through this camera in real time, digitize it and capture it on the computer.